Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the 2024-2025 NBA regular season has finally arrived. After months and months of anticipation, excitement, and expectation, we finally get a chance to see our Detroit Pistons play basketball again, and it feels great. For me personally, this has been the longest offseason in over a decade. I, like many of you guys, are ready to completely just wipe the slate clean of last season and just start fresh. We don't need to rehash last season because I have no intention whatsoever of ruining your day. So let's get to it. Tonight, the Pistons open their regular season at home against the Indiana Pacers. Now, let me get this out the way. I think the Pistons are going to win this game. The Indiana Pacers, led by Tyrese Halliburton and Pascal Siakam, are a good team. Last season, they finished 47 and 35, which was good for the sixth seed heading into the playoffs. And they went on to beat the three seeded Bucks in six games, who were without Giannis for much of that series. And they went on to beat the Knicks in seven games in the conference semifinals, who was without Julius Randle and Mitchell Robinson for that series. And then they lost the head of their snake in Jalen Brunson in game seven. In the conference finals, the Pacers were understandably outgunned and outmatched by the Boston Celtics, who swept them in four games. So, impressive season for the Pacers. So, what did they do this past offseason? Well, they signed Pascal Siakam, who we just mentioned, and Obi Toppin to new contracts. And they also added former Piston, James Wiseman. Their depth chart currently looks like this. Tyrese Halliburton, Andrew Nimhard, Aaron Naismith, Pascal Siakam, and Miles Turner as the starters. The reserves are TJ McConnell, Ben Shepard, Benedict Matherin, Obi Toppin, and Isaiah Jackson. So they have a very solid team, but however, I do think they were beneficiaries of injuries going into the playoffs last year. Now, let's take a look at the Pistons step chart going into tonight's game. The Pistons will likely roll out a starting five of Kay Cunningham, Jaden Ivey, Malik Beasley, Tobias Harris, and Jalen Duran. The reserve unit as of right now will likely be a combination of Marcus Sasser, Tim Hardaway Jr. at the two, Ron Holland at the three, Simone Fontecchio at the four, and Isaiah Stewart or Paul Reed at the backup center, or some variation of that. If I'm being honest, roster to roster, I believe the Pistons from a talent standpoint are on par, or at least close to the same level as the Pacers. Here's why I think the Pistons are gonna win this game though. The Pistons are coming off one of their most transformative seasons in years. They sport a new GM in Trajan Langdon, a new coach in JB Bickerstaff and his coaching staff, which includes shooting wizard Fred Benson, who by the way is already making an impact, and a revamped roster which includes much better spacing and a veteran presence, both of which were lacking last season and beyond. Starting tonight, I believe we're going to see a Pistons team eager to change the narrative about their franchise with a huge chip on their shoulder with a lot to prove. The first game of the season is obviously important to every team, right? But there should be a higher sense of urgency for the Pistons based on what they've said and based on what J.B. Bickerstaff has already demanded from them in the preseason. He's made it very clear that if you're not playing with intensity while you're on the court, you're just not going to be on the court. The other factor that I think is going to push the Pistons to an opening night win is that there isn't a lot of game film for opposing teams to scout the Pistons on. The first game of the season is usually already something of a feel out process for both teams, but the Pistons are sporting a new offense thanks to the spacing they've now added which makes things easier for everybody on the floor. And then the additions of guys like Tobias Harris, Malik Beasley, and Paul Reed are not also just spacers, but they provide a veteran presence that the Pistons have not had in years. Side note, I think Jaden Ivey will be looking to make his presence felt in this game. We all remember last season during the Rising Stars game when Benedict Matherin repeatedly told Jaden over and over that even in the Rising Stars game, that he couldn't guard him. Last season, King and I had the chance to talk to Jaden's father, Javen Hunter, about just that. Check it out. Yeah, we're gonna get to that, bro. I'm glad you said that. <laughs> um, <laughs> so last night's game, last night's Rising Stars Challenge, that was pretty interesting, huh? From what we saw? <laughs> Very interesting. If you by chance didn't catch it, um, just give you a little backstory. Things got a little chippy yesterday between Team Tamika, who Jaden played for, and Team Jalen, Jalen Rose, who Benedict Matherin played for. And there seems to be a little bit of history there. Uh, those two have been kind of linked together and competitive toward each other in the past. And we saw it again last night. And so for those who don't know, Jaden was picked ahead of Ben in the 2022 draft, right? Jaden obviously was picked fifth by the Pistons and then Ben was picked right behind him at number six to Indiana. So last night during the game, 
just to catch y'all up who didn't see dead ball situation it looked like benedict matherin said something to Jaden, and he said something along the lines of even in the rising stars game you can't guard me and for the record ben can't guard Jaden either period I'm, and then you know what? I'm, I'm gonna say it i'm gonna say it i'm gonna say it. i'm gonna put it on wax Jaden ivy is a better basketball player than ben matherin straight up and i think time is gonna prove me right but when he said it it seemed like it kind of caught Jaden off guard because he's like wait what what'd you say and then after he realized that ben was serious then Jaden got serious and it seemed like he kind of used that as fuel like oh word uh, okay that's what we doing okay yeah. so i don't think Jaden's gonna forget that too quickly but i wanted to get no. your reaction javen to what you thought like when you saw that transpiring what, what was kind of going through your mind bro honestly i, I laughed I, you know what I, I like benedict i love benedict i think he's a very competitive kid uh you know yeah. i every time i've seen them play he's kind of going at Jaden and, and and being chippy uh which i like and i respect as an as an athlete but you know Jaden's got detroit in his blood he's not ducking no smoke <laughs> uh you know and we'll we'll see benedict again we'll see you soon, we'll see you soon. <laughs> yeah <laughs> shout out to my man Jaden for giving us that insight and giving us a deeper look into that interaction so before we go any further though i want to just say that Jaden is mature enough to understand that this game like all games is bigger than any individual matchup or battle but i also know that the fierce competitor in him has not quickly forgotten what matherin said to him and i look for Jaden to come out with a little bit extra tonight to prove that benedict matherin cannot guard him either with that being said i'm looking forward to a big game from Jaden tonight but what are your predictions for this game will the pistons come out of this game with a dunk or will they come out the gate slow let me know what you think in the comments and let's talk about it for anybody who's going to be at the game drop your seats below so we can link up Win or lose, I'll be right back here post game to break it all down. Appreciate you tapping in with your boy. And as always, Detroit versus everybody. Peace. Bill and Bill with them hands again. Gotta fight to win. Gotta box them out just like Robin did. Do what Wallace did. With she the Ben. Championship ring when the season ends. Gotta please the fans. Lace them up. Mace them. Make the place a rubber. Gracious flush. For the win is the fate of luck. The spirit of Detroit when they facing us. Like yeah. the microwaves, they heating up. Bad boys, no police in us. Like ZB Tuss. No crutch from the top of the key be clutch. Defense, show D, that's us. Get up out your seats, we up. Switch gears like a piston do. Stop and shoot. You got the cue. Free throw, gotta execute. No ref with who. Win or lose, get the best of you. And when you knock me down. I'm getting back up Cause when I step on the floor You know your time's up I'm on my way up And I'm not gonna stop We headed straight to the top In the low I gotta face it